The anticipation has been building for several weeks, for several months in the Solid Rock Carriers Cars Tour. We had one fantastic race at Southern National Motorsports Park, and we are set for another doozy tonight. 125 laps. Pace truck will dive to the safety of pit lane into the KRC Power Steering Start Zone. Goes Cody Kelly, and the Aaron's 125 is underway. Thirty-two cars roar to life around this four-tenths of a mile racetrack, and on the first lap, Brendan Butterbean Queen able to work the top side and pass Cody Kelly. Queen goes to the top spot. You can see Ke Kelly in second, and Connor Hall settling in in third. The reigning South Carolina 400 winner in Brendan Queen able to work his way up towards the lead at the conclusion of lap number one. And McCaskill's gotten up to the door of Kelly and now squirts about a half car length ahead in one. And McCaskill is very popular, uh, of course, where we were at Southern National last week. But even amongst these fans, as he cuts Whoa. down right in front of Kelly, close quarters here inside the opening 10 laps. But he has secured second, and he may be looking for first here on Brendan Butterbean Queen. But McCaskill, so popular here because he's the type of guy that will sit underneath someone else's race car and miss practice like he did last week. But he may not need practice. Top of the charts right now. Deke McCaskill running the top side. He takes the lead here with on lap 10. McCaskill has a pack of cars in front of him with the rest of the top 10 barreling down on the leader. How about Mini Tyrell, who's looking to almost go to the top spot here. He'll pass Barnhill for second, and he's looking to challenge for the race lead. Shot out of a cannon, nearly out out of nowhere, started all the way back in 12th and not even 20 laps in. Mini Tyrell working the top side and he'll go to the point with lap traffic just up the road. Mini Tyrell, one of the Touring 12 drivers in this field. Look out the windshield. He's got four more Touring 12 competitors just in front of him. And boy, I mean, this looks like we're, we're at five to go here, Eric. And how about Butterbean Queen in that 03 car for Lee Pulliam performance? He fell back to about eight. He's trying to get the lead from Mini Tyrell on the main straightaway. And he's going to be able to do it off a of turn two. Back to the lead. Two leaders in this race have been Brendan Butterbean Queen and Mini Tyrell. And if Queen is on a surge right here, again, he's still only about a car length or so back from several of these drivers who are directly in front of him who don't want to go a lap down. Who wants to be the control car at that competition yellow? It is Tyrell trying to work the outside. Queen will hit the line as the Volt Battery caution waves for the 40 lap consecutive run that took place from the drop of the green flag. And it is Brendan Queen who cycled his way back up to the front of the pack after leading lap one. Are gonna be able to make their way to the front through the KRC Power Steering Restart Zone. And we are back underway here Mini Tyrell not wasting a beat here as he gets by Brendan Butter being queen as he will once again resume the race lead. They go side by side for third right now. Barnhill and Bobby McCarty right now for the back step of the podium. Nearly three wide for second off the corner. Here comes Quapple trying to make some noise before they get to the yellow inside of Butterbean for second. And trying to get up, I'm sure, to be able to choose a little further up on the next restart. But also Andrew Grady cannot go a lap down. And Tyrell may try to put him a lap down. He's going to the outside here. And Grady trying to stay on the lead lap. That's a pair of touring 12 drivers bookending your lead lap field right now. Tyrell, the leader. Grady inside on the bottom side in car one. While they're side by side for second as they come to the line. Caution flag will fly for the second time tonight. It is the Volt Battery Yellow. Second time, too. We've seen it for the competition yellow after 40 consecutive green flag laps. Changing the motor out in the hotel parking lot. Of course, he runs further back in the field through the KRC Power Steering Restart Zone. And green flag is back out. And Brendan Butterbean Queen side by side for the race lead with Mini Tyrell. And Queen also uh, made a trip out earlier this week to Great Bridge Primary School and read Buster's trip to Victory Lane to the kids. And right now, runs second with Carson Quapple behind. I, whoa, Queen got really loose there on the inside of turn number one and almost washed up into the side of Mini Tyrell as Carson Quapple tries to make it three wide, but Queen slams the door shut. 
Almost contact there between Carson Quapel and the 0-3 of Brendan Queen. Mini Tyrell, though, still holding strong. He has a lot of speed in that 81 car, and you wondered, well, are the tires going to fade right now? Tyrell still looks clear to the front. But his two laps off the leaders. Oh! Wow. That was very close to the exit of two as Butterbean tried to cut off the five there who had a big run on the exit of the corner and he almost went off into the woods. And you can see a little bit of damage there on the nose of Barnhill's car. Should be okay there and see if Barnhill wants to take that run off a of turn two this time. He does, uh, pro but probably with a little more patience I think that he would have had a couple laps ago. As there is caution out on the speedway, turn number two, one car is spun around. It is Kitz Miller, I believe, that may be on the inside of turn two. 27 laps left at Florence Motor Speedway, and we are back underway as they pass the Tim Tolson flag stand and Tyrell and Queen side by side. Quapel is clear for third. Quapel up in the third spot. He'll cut down to the bottom. Low side there in front of Bobby McCarty in the six. Mini Tyrell trying to hold the top side on Brendan Queen for the lead. Queen had the lead by half a car length. At the start finish line, he slides his way into turn one with Quapel looking low for the top spot. Oh, and they almost make contact. Is this the first time we've seen Tyrell back on the outside there in that number 81 car since he passed the entire field to get up there to the top spot? New leader once again, Brendan Queen to the top spot here with 24 to go. And Carson Quapel wants a part of it as well. Also starting to see the back end of that 03 step out under braking going into turn one. The last couple of laps, this time able to keep the car pointed straight. Quapel trying to fill the hole on the bottom side here of Tyrell, who gets a great launch off the corner. Doesn't quite concede the race lead just yet. He'll slide between Queen and Quapel, but only momentarily as Carson gets him up off the bottom. More newcomers starting to work their way into the top 10 throughout the field, but now is the battle for second, side by side. Quapel down to the bottom. Clear. Oh, just so much of Mini Tyrell. He gets the job done. He goes to second. You can see the brake rotors starting to glow a little bit there with Quapel as he is all over the truck lid of Brendan Butterbean. Queen to the top side here at Florence. Queen seems committed to the bottom of the racetrack, but Quapel gets a great drive off. He may have a fender inside as they come to three. They make a little bit of contact in the third corner, and Quapel's trying to gouge his way to the bottom. Side by side, this is about the time when he lost to Caden Honeycutt that he lost the lead, and now he's trying to get a win here at Florence Motor Speedway. To the top side, though, Queen has the advantage. 14 laps to go, and these top two have really separated themselves, so it is a two-horse race here. Oh, nearly 10 car lengths clear, Mini Tyrell. You're going to see it work into your shot, and there's one car at the very entrance of Pitt Road that is spun around, and I believe it is Tate Fogelman, and indeed it is. Really slowing him down, trying to make him guess. And with 12 laps to go, we're back underway. Queen is sideways. Here comes Carson Quapel up to the inside. Queen will hold him at bay, though. A tough restart there, though, for that 0-3. In trouble in turn one, Isabella Robusto and Ryan Wilson tangle. Caution flag is out once again. Through the KRC power steering restart zone with 12 laps to go here at Florence. Green flag is back out and they are dead even into turn one. A little contact made between your top two as well and Quapel not quite clear as they looked almost go three wide. Bassett clears for third. Bassett was able to come across the bow of Mini Tyrell. He tags the backside of Brendan Queen for second spot. Quapel breaks free as they're double wide from second on back it to the bottom. And Carson Quapel says thank you very much as they battle for second. Queen still holding strong there on the top side. Ronnie Bassett Jr. continuing his march through the field after they touched off of turn two. They nearly do it yet again. And you also have Connor Jones. You can throw it in the mix as well. Everybody is on the go button now. Ten laps to settle it here at Florence. Bassett hugging the bottom with Connor Jones just behind on the 44. Brian Barnhill continues to hold steady in the top ten. He and Junior Motor Sports struggled here in the icebreaker, but they will put those worries to rest off of turn four for the final time. A checkered flag in hand, and Carson Quapel wins the Aaron's 125, presented by Grand Atlantic Resort.